Hey, this is Akiva at Twisted Tree Farm, and uh, we're here up on the hillside. This is one of our permanent plantings. This is not part of the nursery. Um, these are uh, bushes that are going to stay in the ground, hopefully uh, past when I'm dead, and uh, past when I'm in the ground, I guess. Uh, these are hazelnuts. These are hybrid hazels, and right now it's January, and it's the middle of winter. We don't have much snow. Uh, but uh, it's still the middle of winter and right now the hazels are have their catkins out They actually make these in the fall and they'll keep them all winter and these catkins are the male flower parts And they're incredibly hardy uh, while they're closed up like this. I think they're hardy to at least negative 50 and uh, this is a, a true northern growing shrub and uh, What's gonna happen throughout the winter is grouse and deer and turkeys will actually eat these catkins and the bushes will just make more it's okay and then in the spring you see this uh, bud right here out of that bud will emerge a tiny pink flower that'll be the female part and these uh, hazels are wind pollinated and so the the wind will carry some of the male pollen over to the female parts on the other bushes and and then uh, you know we'll have a crop of hazelnuts and what I've found with the hazelnut is they pretty much set a crop every year. They're really reliable. And uh, one thing I really like about them is just how freaking tough they are. They're really, really powerful plants. So I could take, you know, a, a stem and I can just bend it all the way to the ground. You really can't break them. You could, you could just like knock this bush over with a car and uh, it would probably just spring right back. Um, and because it's a shrub, even if you were to cut it all the way to the base, it would just send up new suckers. You can see there's tons of weeds here. I've done zero weed management for the last few years on these bushes because they really don't need it. Uh, I used to, when I was establishing them, I weeded them and mulched them for the first couple years, but I haven't done anything for about three years now. And uh, they don't seem to care at all. They're, they're quite vigorous. Um, I spaced them. A lot of people ask me about spacing, and I think I spaced them too far apart. I followed some nursery's instructions to go uh, six feet apart, and, uh, and I wish I had it, because what I really want is a continuous hedge going, uh, basically making a wall of hazel. So I decided to make it myself last year. I just intertwined some of the stems, and I'm hoping that they'll uh, grow together. And then at the same time, I just, took one stem and I bent it down to the ground here it is and I bent it down and buried it with a rock so that will actually form roots it takes about two years with hazelnuts and it'll form roots and then I'll have another hazelnut bush right there and help fill in the the gap between these so from now on I plant my hazels three feet apart but uh, what a tough powerful disease resistant frost resistant shrub I, I absolutely think hazelnuts are one of the easiest plants to grow. So. Thanks. Hey, Nate. Yeah. When the fog lifts, you can see all the hills. It's, it's really a sweet spot up here.